Welcome to NCBA Money Mastery Series, where we break down products and financial solutions and show you how your money can work for you with the right partner. In studio today, we have a financial property expert who will take us through and demystify myths and notions around property ownership. Welcome, Stella. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. The vast majority of the population do not own property. What solutions do NCBA offer? As you are aware, we are relationship bank and uh, one of the needs that we cater for, we cater for all needs for our customers. So at NCBA Property Finance, we have our 105% product that caters for all the needs of the customer, that is caters for the stamp duty as well as the deposit and the legal fees. You are aware of that uh, purchasing a property, there are so many costs that come with the, with the whole process. So we are able to pay for the deposit as well as the stamp duty and the legal fees. So a customer will be able to walk in and be able to walk out with a property. That's awesome. Yes. So when we hear about this 105% financing, it's not a, it's not a, the, a matter to flying a long way like here. It's a product that we take away the burden from customers. In addition, we have partnered with quite a number of people in the property ecosystem. And what we are trying to do is to be able to offer all solutions under one roof. Some of these are roofing companies, furnishing, interior and decor. We have all these partners and we'll be able to get them one to come at NCBA. In addition, we also have a product that we have a plot purchase. If, for instance, somebody wants to buy a plot, you know, very, you know, Kenyans, we are very addicted to buying properties or plots. We are able to finance plot purchase anywhere in, in Kenya, as long as you think a municipality, what used to call within municipalities, but now it's within county governments. We also have other products like a buy and build. Buy and build is whereby you're buying land and simultaneously you're constructing. So we take away the burden from the customer. They're able to purchase land and they construct and they're able to construct the, the house according to their needs and their tastes. You know, people have got different tastes and preferences. So for that, we're able to work with the customers in the whole journey of, of construction. That's a broad array of financial of the property solutions. We're done yet. Oh. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We also have our equity release products. You could be having a property and uh, this property is not charged to a bank. We are able to offer mortgages or a, a loan against that property. That is, that is what we call equity release. Equity release is that we are creating equity from a property. So if this equity could be maybe you want to invest in other, other, other assets. Also, you want maybe to take your kids to school. You want to pay for hospital bills. This, pro this, this product comes to take care of all those needs. We also have, you, you could be having a loan in another institution and you're thinking NCBA has a very competitive product. We also have, we can be able to transfer your loan from one institution to another. And so we're able to transfer your loan from your bank to our, to our bank. Indeed, now I see that I can walk to the bank and walk out as a homeowner and indeed bring my clan yeah, to my next property. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. We're able to work with you um, and guide you throughout the journey because you know very well the mortgage journey is very complicated. So we take away this burden from our customers and be able to demystify what is it to be able to take up a mortgage? What is it, what does it entail? So we're able to inform and educate our customers because you know very well people have got different notions about mortgages. So we educate our customers, we work with them and give them the best solutions in the market. Indeed, um, that is one, one of the areas that uh, a majority of the population have never understood well. So could you take us through the process that it takes for one to get a mortgage in the bank? Well, for, for you to be able to get a mortgage from, from our NCBA, what you need to do is just to walk into any bank, any, any branch, or even our property center. We have our property center whereby you, you display quite a number of properties from vetted developers. And once you walk in, you'll be able to find our dedicated relationship managers and they'll be able to walk with you through the journey. 
So you walk in, you don't have a property, we have a property listing that you can be able to vet and be able to, to get a property that you are looking for. If, if you've already got a property, we'll be able to assess your income and be able to advise you within a period of 24, 24 hours that you qualify for X amount of money. It could be 10 million, it could be even less or even more according, according to your income and also the, the property that you're buying. So once we advise you on how, on, once we give you what you, what, how much you qualify for, we are able to progress the next stage whereby we're able to approve your loan after looking at your income documents. You could be in employment, it could be in business, it could be earning some rental income. We are able to use all these uh, incomes to be able to assess the ability to pay. So we approve a loan after we reveal the documents, we approve the loan after a period of five to seven working days, we're able to issue with an offer letter. Once you get this offer letter, you know you can stay with it. We give you a maximum period of 30 days. It's not a must to stay with this for 30 days. You can even return it immediately. You get the offer letter so as to be able to fast track the process. So after the 30 days or even less, you bring back the offer letter. And after fulfilling some conditions like getting a duly executed sale agreement, uh, pay, paying in the deposit, if you, if at all you are paying the deposit, and then once you get that offer, we progress the next stage, which is valuation. For valuation, for valuation, the reason why we do valuation is to be able to check on the value of the property against the market. Because we, we lend on the property value or the property value or the sale price, whichever is lower. So, and also evaluation usually checks, is this property within a flight path? Is it near a railway line? Could it be near a river or even a water bodies? So this is the reason why we do the property valuation to be able to check all these factors. After valuation is done, after the four days, it takes a maximum of four days. We progress the next stage, which takes the longest, which is the legal stage, we call it conveyancing. But in layman's, uh, layman's language, is the legal process, the process of registra registering the property to your name and charging it to the bank. It takes a maximum of 45 to 60 days. And for this, we have a panel of lawyers that um, work with you and guide you through the journey of what it entails, what is a charge document, where are we, where are we at the lands, uh, lands registry, what is happening at each, at each stage. So once this process is complete, then uh, the process of charging and registration is complete. We get the documents at the bank, at, at the bank and we release the money to the vendor. So you see, it's a, it's a short process and at the end of it, you become the new homeowner and you're able to get the keys from the vendor once you've paid the money. Sounds awesome. Uh, in as much as it looks a long process. It's a, it's a long process, but it's it's simple because we're able to work with you. Okay. So Stella, could you also tell us, apart from you know um, the normal banking charges, could you elaborate more on the closure costs around mortgages? Um, the whole process of taking up a mortgage comes with the costs, and uh, these costs they usually range in between six to eight percent. So you find that over and above the property purchase. So for instance, I'm buying a property, let me use a figure of 5 million. If I'm buying a property of 5 million, I should be able to estimate a, a cost of 6 to 8% over and above the 5 million. But remember I mentioned that we have our 105% financing, whereby you finance 100% and and the 5%, which takes the burden away from the customers. Because we have got very many people who want to own properties, but they don't know. So the bank takes away this, the, the burden from the customers. So these costs, as I've said, they, they range in between 6 to 8%. And for this is cost like the stamp duty that is paid to the government, it usually range in between 2 to 4%, depending on the location of the property, as well as also we have legal fees. Remember in the process we mentioned about the legal, legal process, we need to be able to pay the lawyers for the process for what they will be doing for the work that they'll be doing also we have valuation costs that come with the, with the whole process as well as also we have insurances we need to be able to insure the property as well as you as a borrower indeed that's a pick a good picking point about insurance could we also elaborate more about insurance because the law i mean the conveyance process uh, takes a while am i protected in case of any eventuality around the property. Uh, a good example is where you are doing a construction or the option that you talked about, buy and build, yeah? How am I, you know, or how do we secure the property 
during the process of this uh, of con uh, construction? Well, um, that, that's a good question. And as, as I've mentioned, we have the insurance costs that are come with the whole mortgage process. And uh, to mention the first one is the mortgage protection cover, whereby we are covering you as a borrower. Reason being, the reason why we have insurances is because of uncertainties. No one who knows about tomorrow. So for this insurance, the mortgage protection cover covers you as a borrower in case of death or incapacitation. The, the, the mortgage is not passed over the next of kin. You would not want to leave your next of kin servicing debts. So that's why we have the mortgage protection cover to be able to cover you. Then we have the domestic protection cover. This is an insurance that covers the property uh, against the natural calamities. It could be fire, it could be floods. So that ensures that the property is well covered. We also encourage our customers to be able to take insurances for the content inside the house because you realize that we're just covering now the, the, the property as it is. So we'll cover also the, the you encourage customers to take uh, the content insurance to be able to ensure what is inside the property. Now, you mentioned about the buy and build or when someone is constructing, what are these insurances? We also we have an insurance that we call CARIC, and CARIC is it all entails uh, covering the, the construction materials on site. You know very well, um, people can easily steal your materials at the site. Yeah, so we have that insurance that comes in to be able to cover the, the materials as well as the people at the construction site. But you, for this insurance cost, uh, for the construction cost, that is the CARIC, for the CARIC insurance, it's only for the period of the construction, which ranges in between six to nine months. Indeed, these are very elaborate solutions from NCBA. But let me also pose this question to you. We've had for around a decade or so, about the property bubble. Yeah, some say it's about to burst. Yeah, it will burst. I don't know what is your opinion around this phenomenon. Well, I know it has been with us for the last decade and it's gonna be with us for a while. Reason being, uh, and it's not about to happen. Property bubble is not about to happen. Reason being, we, we have, people are still demanding for good properties. In the past, we've seen developers putting up properties to cater for the high end. What about the people at the bottom of the pyramid? You, you notice they still lack properties. So we we have whereby we, we have a gap whereby the, we have a supply gap and the demand is too high. So until the supply and the demand comes into equal or what we used to call equilibrium, that's when we see that the bubble has happened. But for now, it's not about to happen. And uh, based on the World Bank research that was done sometimes back, it shows that uh, as, as a country, we have a shortfall of housing and um, producing 50,000 units per year, they are not enough for Kenyans who are demanding for units. So we currently, we, we have, yes. It's a current supply, it's a current, current supply in the market. So with, with a shortfall of around 2.2 2, 2 million houses, we still have a long way to go before we see the bubble is happening. Okay, awesome. I think that brings some clarity and comfort to homeowners and uh, potential home buyers. So, amidst all this, I see a lot of billboards advertising, we're talking about mortgages. Why would I consider a mortgage facility with NCBA? At, um, at NCBA, as I had mentioned, we are a relationship bank and we take care of our customers' needs. Our customers' needs are central to us. So we thought we, we have dedicated relationship managers that are able to work with our customers from the first time they walk into the bank to the time they, they even they get the money and even post getting the money, we have all these relationship managers that will be working with the customers and even being able to advise the customers which other solutions they can be able to take from the bank. In addition, we have our property center and at our property center, we, we have a variety of products that we offer under one roof. That means we have properties, we have decors, we have interior. If somebody is looking to want to furnish, if they want to move from a house, we have, moved, we have partnered with movers. And all these people we vetted to ensure that our customers are getting the best deal in the market. So that is what we have at NCB. And I believe even um, once you walk in, you will not regret. Okay. The next time you think about a mortgage, Think about NCBA.
because I need a financial partner who cares, who walks the journey with me. Thank you, Stella, for the incisive uh, discussion. For more information, please visit our official website and social media pages. I've been your host, Jared. <laughs>